grew up in a church where it had a lot of uh, rules and certain traditions that needed to be followed and I just never really liked that feeling of kind of these are the rules and this is what they are and you have to follow them and um, so I gave my parents such a hard time growing up, going to church and you know, doing everything I can not to go on Sunday morning. So I went to a very traditional church. It never resonated with me and I never felt that connection. We got married and um, never thought about going to church, never yeah. talked about it, never thought about it. And um, then we got pregnant, we were expecting our first child. And I posed the question, should we get her baptized? And he was like, where do we go? To, what, to where? where? <laughs> How, <laughs> in what? Yeah. yeah. When she was three, we were looking for a preschool and she has some um, special needs and medical needs. So um, Cal, uh, Children of the Woodlands, was a good choice because they have a full-time nurse and they were really receptive and really willing to work with us and with her. Um, so she started going here. And I was very pregnant with our second child. And I had a really bad day and I um, just was very snappy, I think, <laughs> at my daughter, my poor little three-year-old. And um, just, I remember falling to my knees and crying and just apologizing to her and just saying, mommy is just having a bad day and I'm really sorry. And she put her little hand on my arm and she said, don't worry, mommy, God will help you. And that was the moment that everything changed. I think that's the first time I met him, you know, like I met him in that place. And it became real and he came home from work and I told him what happened and I was like, we need to find a church. We need to find a church right now. I called our friends, um, Elizabeth Chapel, and said, where do you go to church? And she said, the loft. We go to 9, 9.30 service on Sunday. We'll save you a seat. Text me when you get there. <laughs> so it was kind of like, okay, I guess I'm going to church on Sunday. Um, so I did. I was still not ready to commit as far as to a church and to a new community. And Jolie, after coming to the loft, maybe three or four weekends in a row, finally said, you, Mike, you really need to check this place out. This is not what we grew up in. I was like, okay, for you, for Lucy, for the family, like I I'm willing to give it a try. I just had this moment where it seemed like everything came together. It just, it just clicked for me. And I, I understood, I was just standing in the dark and, crying and <laughs> feeling, really feeling the presence of God and feeling for the first time what it means to be forgiven, to have that guilt and shame and all that I carry lifted. I understood now what it meant to have a relationship with God, to feel like, to feel the presence of Jesus in your life. And I wanted to take that with me. I wanted to know how to do that every day. There was a sermon that was done and um, that's when it hit me that I needed to be here. Um, so it was the first time I felt like the loft became my home. Like this is a place that's going to help us, help our family become the people we're, we're trying to be.